Welcome, my name is Dailyfix and this is a Distant Worlds Universe. Well, let us continue with the uh, the Slucken. Uh, and I've been thinking, uh, as you can see, this is a, a new day. I've been talking about uh, where to go and what to do. Uh, getting a basis up that um, have, where are you, high tech, that have um, targeting and, and scanners, like this long range scanners, is definitely something that we should be pursuing. Uh, so I've decided that we should be going over our technology and I still want to go with the open network all Fortunately, the wonder has already been built There is of course this wonder that has not been built by the, but it's so expensive to get there So I still want to go with open trade um, and what I also would like to do is getting in proximity sensors and long-range sensors, but also go with targeting, fleet targeting, uh, advanced countermeasures, all of that stuff. So the fleets will actually help each other. And you can say the bonus that you'll get is something that you could neglect. It isn't as much, but it is uh, effectiveness plus 20. It is fleet bonus plus 10. So eventually it will count up to... A very nice uh, tr uh, target bonus so um, I've said it would be better in damage and better in predicting where damage is going to be so I, I like how this has been set up we, we were going to be looking into into uh, advanced countermeasures as well as tracking so that's five already as for energy and construction I like damage control and we definitely should be going on that. Um, damage reduction, negative uh, 40%. A repair component, none. It is something that we'll be building, a damage control unit. And I will be bringing that, I think, to all of the um, all of the ships, all of the bases. Because it is nice having 40% damage reduction. Perhaps with the robotic defense, but I am not really sure on that yet. Uh, we definitely want to increase the ship size. Uh, the advanced mining I don't find as uh, as good. Now, fusion mastery we're still going to be doing because we like to get less reactors on our ships. Uh, but also we, or at least I, I would like to go in enhanced maneuvering. And this will also change my ships. I brought back the maneuvers uh, for my ships to one truster when you start off with three and therefore the turning rate of my ships has decreased quite a bit uh, also want to go in better engines so they move faster uh, so let's queue this one up and let's go to advanced maneuverability as well and you can see we're almost having all the tech over here uh, on the uh, on, on this range we can't do this, we can't do that. This is not for us as well. What does this do? Projects a powerful gravity well that prevents nearby ships from initi initiating a warp of a, a hyperdrive. So this could, in theory, just um, make sure that enemy fleets that we surprise cannot get out of. Which is interesting. I don't think we want to go for that right now. Uh, but we'll go for these ones first and just see where it will go. After this one, let's go for the rapid assembly. Uh, I think this is more than enough. As for weapons, the uh, phaser optimization is absolutely fantastic. But this is way too expensive. And there are so many other things that we should go for. Like long range lasers. Hey, that is a nice idea. I would like that. Mm, this is 15 million. 15 million research points and it's 1.9 this is just too soon it is too soon to get in that area already uh, this one is 3 million I also want to try iron weapons and this is some easy technology so why not uh, gravity and weapon gravity beam that damages enemy ships with blasters and powerful gravity waves completely bypasses both shields and armor most effective on closer and smaller targets. So this would be very nice against like, um, I don't know, carriers. All of those tiny ships at close proximity. This would be very nice. The area weapons I'm not sure on yet. I've not seen many people use them. 
So let's get these uh, graphic weapons, so at least have another weapon. And we could go to tractor beams, and this will capture of pulls in enemy ships, and we can capture or attack them. This, this opens up a complete new ship build for us. Like, say, we could change our destroyers in, 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 in ships that will board, or perhaps have... Uh, our cruisers fitted with a lot of um, attack vessels so we can actually start getting other ships in their range and just I don't know maybe scrap them not sure about that yet uh, but just the holding in there would be quite nice so I would like to go in there and I would like to get the energy torpedo just just get more weapons on it even though I've been told to focus on a singular weapon. I, I just don't think it's that easy. And I think all of the weapons could actually uh, go and, and have fun together. And I just don't like the idea of completely focusing on one technology. I, I would like to have more. Also, special operations. I would like to get to field battlefield sabotage as well as uh, special operations because it's a bonus of 25% which is absolutely phenomenal but we don't need them just yet advanced logistics a lower maintenance cost of all troops by 30% and whenever I'm building troops it is the cost of their maintenance that is just destroying it so we definitely want to get advanced logistics in here and let's go for battlefield sabotage and special operations. That brings it up to six. We got some new weapons coming in. And I'm particularly interested by this. As well as the gravity weapon. Just because it bypasses shields and armor. Whew. Wow. A lot of talking there. Let's uh, see what we're working with. 175. Uh, that's annual. And once we get the um, proximity sensors and the long range centers we are going to be equipping our defensive stations especially with the long range sensors now speaking of the um, defensive stations I would like to start putting stations in at special uh, areas also not all of these planets actually need a large space port because we're not doing as much on there. And a large baseboard in, in maintenance is a lot more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't need to copy. So this one is um, has a maintenance of 10,000. And a spaceport has a maintenance of 4,000. Now, of course, this is without all of those weapons. And I kind of want to be changing some of my larger spaceports with medium spaceports. And the reason for it is it saves us a bit of money, but we're going to be using defensive platforms. And these smaller stations, well, maybe we, we don't have to build them. But losing 10,000 on each planet, just so we have a bit of... Um, okay, they have terminated the, uh, the ref. And we knew that was going to happen because we had a war with them and we actually conquered some of their territory. Uh, we're kind of waiting until these fleets are repaired. And and some of them are a long ass way away. We might have to send them somewhere else for repairs. We can actually do that. Let's go to our fleets. And can we say... Where are you now? Nearest available enemy ship. No, 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 no. I, I want you to go there. So every ship is in here. And that's a logistical nightmare for this one station. I want you to go... Over here. No, not over here. Over here. And... I want you to repair there. This is my large space. But everyone go there. And you will be... Refueling and repairing. What's this? We are under attack by the free syndicate. Uh, we stand alongside of our allies. Um, with you, you're not as strong. Where are you? You're over there. You can easily defeat them. Come on, it's seven six. You're ten. You don't need my help. That's bull. You don't need it. Don't ask for it. So with all of our spaceports now. Well, definitely a lot stronger. Firepower is just over a thousand. And 
That is really nice. I like that. So let's wait until the fleet is there. And let's see, do we have other fleet admirals? Because I think we lost a bunch of them. No, we actually have three fleet admirals doing nothing. What a dingus. First fleet, go. Um, hyperspeed jump, go to the second fleet. Go. That means we have one admiral still doing nothing. Uh, we can bring you to the occupation force, but I'd rather go with another fleet. Seeing that we make a lot of money right now, and we're going to be increasing some of this research. Uh, we can't do that one, that's a bit of a shame. How about open trade? No, we can't. Oh well, can't have everything, right? Uh, we got some money, 20k. Damn, that's nice, I like it. So let's say goodbye. Let's start on a new fleet. Uh, so the first, the second, and I'd say the third. Although this, this, this S, that bugs me. First fleet, second fleet, capital letter, right over here. Let's make a new fleet, and we're going to be making the third fleet. Um, to do this, I do. How many building slots do we have on Nuremberg? We have a lot of spaceports, a lot of this is a construction ship, those. Mm, let's go to spaceports. We are building a lot here, and they're being repaired. So where do we want to build that third ship? This one's busy, you're busy, you're busy. They're all busy. Quite like that. I'm really happy to see that. Hmm. Well, we have enough slots though. Might as well just go and use the builder for it. So 160. Now we want to have some carriers. And I'll go with four. I would like to get some cruisers. Let's do eight. And go with about 12 destroyers and 12 smaller ships. Would this be an okay fleet? It is uh, 20, 32. It, it's a bit low though. These have all have 75 ships. But we might as well boost this up to like 20. 20. And do 15. And do 10 cruisers and 5 of these. That is a massive chunk of money. And we actually have it. We, <laughs> we have it by two, 2 grand. So this is going to be the third fleet. It's going to be big. It's going to be powerful. And apparently we are unable to get it. Oh, that's weird. Oh, we were paused, right? Okay, let's give it a tick or two. Then we'll be making the third fleet. And all of this we're going to be using because eventually we want to make sure that uh, we're going to be the most powerful, powerful and dangerous uh, empire in the in, in the in the known galaxy. So all of these, all fifty ships, set to a new fleet. No, the eighth fleet, not the occupation force. So here we go. Let's go to the third, third fleet. Everyone should be so happy that I actually do these things. The first, the second, the third, and then the fourth, fifth, sixth. <laughs> Thank you so much, Toby. <laughs> um, Homeworld. Mm. So we have a fleet in here, we have a fleet in here, and I kind of like to have a fleet over here. Will this highlight even prime? Well, we don't have to do it right now. There is no shipyard there, and I would like to have one with a shipyard. Considering these guys might be annoying and we want to jump over there, I still say that this would be a very good station. So, uh, to run to something. It's this one, right? Antura Junction 2. There you go. Set home colony. Nuremberg and let's see you over there. You have one over here. Yeah, I like it. So, ah, oh, there we go. 
Hopefully all of the ships will make it there. Now I believe that all of my shipyards, all of my spaceports, they should be starting to queue this up. Since we don't have a wonder, it doesn't really matter where we're building them as long as they are being built. Captains, that is one thing. I would like to get captains on my carriers. My carriers are, of course, the strongest. Thank you so much for your money. Goodbye. And man, that's a big chunk, uh, chunk of money there. Actually, there's one thing that I need to, text, to check. Um, we are lacking a bunch of... Let's see. No, we actually have enough though. I was thinking we had a bunch of strategic resources. We have no supply coming in. But this is all luxury. Ooh. Is there something close like this? Replicant Ale? You? Ah, it's too far away. That's highly unfortunate. No, me crystal. Let's take a quick look. Where are you? Come on, scroll down with me, buddy. Can we press D? You. Nothing. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to get a few sources here, which we don't have any of, because the price here is insane. Durarium marble. Nothing. Uh, silk. Where are you? Nothing. Man, I think there is just nothing there. Cougar fur. Didn't we have that? Didn't we have cougar fur? I guess not. Huh. Uh, the fluid. I think this is um, like resources that you can only get from certain empires. Like this one we were trading, but they cancelled the agreement. Uh, how about the spice? No, it's not there as well. For the rest, we got all of it, which I really like. Pirates offering. Please go away. We don't need that. Uh, we are probably going to explode in military might, which I really like, of course. So the third fleet is over there, and I want you to go uh, move here to junction two. Go. Yeah, there is no one there yet. So we're going to be setting you on defense, which is fine. Uh... Let's see, I've been pursuing the wrong path. Of course they did. Of course they have done the wrong path. Um, a sacred warning, secret offer. We have an important warning for you to need to... Oh, well, we're not interested. <laughs> I've been told so on so many occasions. I should not yet pursue that course of action because it could harm me. As for the um, infection, I don't know how, um, but it seems to have disappeared. And I seriously don't know why or how. Let's see, you are being taxed too much, although it's it's you're still growing. You're still growing, that's fine. Let's wait a tiny bit there. Silken are getting in there. You are just negative eight. Yeah, we need to start building some um, bases. Let's see, so let, let's get into this system. So you, I want you to get a death station on here. Colony death station, there you go. And that has that station been queued up. That means that is in Hakko. Apparently we don't have a station in Hakko. Is that, that's weird, I, I could have sworn I had one. Yeah, large spaceport. Why are you not in here? That's just weird. How about you? Do you have a large spaceport? No. So we're going to be building... We can actually do it like this. Defensive colony, construction ship. Well, we can't do it like this. Let's go with... A defense... A dev station. Territory map. Offering. Secret warning offered. We're not even going to respond to that so there is a mining station oh boy 
Uh oh. Um, I've been told that these guys. This is what's making happen. We've encountered a new empire. Who call themselves the uh, Uretach or something like that. In the uh, minor station. They say they are refugees from another galaxy driven from their home by cruel alien race that pursued them in a brutal war. Um, they have given a gift of um, 10,000 as a token of their appreciation. Go to the event location. Stop. Can we eradicate these? Can we can we kill them off, please? Where are you? Because this this is scaring the hell out of me. Oh damn. There's going to be more, are oh, they? Damn it. So the end is nigh, I guess. Military strength. And their government is the way of darkness that doesn't hold uh, too well. Empire systems. No deal. <sighs> How many... Hmm. I want to know where they are. Intelligent agents. Oh, bloody boy. Okay. And we're going to be sending a lot of them. Uh, it's that I've been warned about these guys. And I really... Territorial map. One year. 74%. Oh, damn. How about you? Eighty percent. So you have a bit better of a opportunity. I'm going to send all three of them if I have to. I just want to know where the hell these guys are. And there you go. Territorial maps a year, and this one had a very low chance. So what we're going to be doing is counter intelligence uh, for a year. We don't have to assign a target, but I thought it just this assigned itself to a pirate faction now we got some ship captains over here and i would really like to get them on carriers that is not a carrier i believe uh, the joy and the evils come back um the over i think these are the carriers are you on a carrier Because I think they just need to be on there. If I go to a fleet. Let's move you out. If I go to a fleet. These are cruisers. How do carriers look like? So. They have this, this little bit of a pop out wing. Carrier. Carrier. Asset backstab. Can you just not follow the design and name? I would love, really like these guys to have a captain. We can manage these? Cool. I like it. Huh. Well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and try to get some captains on uh, the assured backstab. So, captain... There you go, transfer, and we're going to be doing the same with you. So if we see designs with a little bit of a wing pop out, and I think they're mainly below here, it's, it's really difficult to see. But I think these are as well, yeah, they had a bit of a, uh, of a thing going. Uh, you... They have the the best survivability, at least I think they're at the best uh, survivability. And uh, let's get one over here as well. And with this, I'm going to be ending the episode. So let's give you to him the Surround Nova. There you go. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.